Alright, making a brand new video on the UK government uh, psychological operations slash mind control slash civilian psyops Stasi gang stalking program. So, just been out after my first video for a while. Uh, you know, heavily gang stalked, driving by with a little smirk on the face. You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, just checking this thing is uh, producing a file because it wasn't before. So, coming back and the guy smirks me, so I thought, I'm, after this video, you motherfuckers aren't going to be smiling no more. So, to do that, I want to say, fuck your fake religions, yeah? Because I know you've been using the Muslims and the Christians to target me with, so... Yeah. So I feel. Fuck your fake religions. Trying to target me with uh, Muslims, especially. You know? Gotta say, fuck it, because... Don't try and force that bullshit on me and don't come at me just because I'm not believing in your religion. So, yeah, that's all i got to say. So, what have they been doing over the past few days? Well, they have took out my uh, internet. They took out my uh, um, wireless dongle. So, well that, I explained that in my video. So, I'm going to get into this right now. So... I'll play the first of the videos. Alright, so, look at that. I've already pulled a thing on me once. No more things to it. Right, now this, I was coming, I got off the bus, this was Monday. I got off the bus, walking home. As soon as I get off my bus, this van comes down, drives past my bus. Now, when I'm walking back, it drives past again, but delivers a package. Now, as I'm coming up here, this van appears. Now, you know they've been using the DPD vans as part of the subliminal message. If you follow my videos, that is, as part of the subliminal message for depersonalization. Well, you know, this is what they did. So I can see it. Subliminal message depersonalization. They want to use it. I told you I'll just pause it and uh, get the volume up a bit. Oh, it's on max anyway. I'm just heading home. Um, basically, the car gave me very heavy on the bus. I couldn't be bothered filming it. Um, yeah. Um, Target me on the bus. Basically, uh, you know. <laughs> so, I started, um, um, I looked this car, uh, down somewhere. That's the handlers. They look for your reaction. So, this, as soon as I get here, and you know, I've been, they've been targeting me with the construction man. As soon as I get here, that guy was a perp as well. But as soon as I get here, he drives off. Yeah, basically after my last video with that moped guy, he contacted the people, Fred and Joyce, who are next door, that he contacted them. And basically, um, they he filed a complaint uh, saying he was concerned about my uh, behaviour or whatever, you know, after that video. So then, because they know my mum, contact my family, and then I had a huge... So I'm just getting something. I had a huge row with my uh, family because um, of what this guy did so then basically you know 
my uh, family basically believe in him over me. You know, pretty much acting like he wasn't targeting me. Even when I showed them the videos, my mum was like, I don't want to see it. You know what I mean? So they, they, they're scared, I think, of confronting these people, but I'm not scared of confronting these people. The cowards, for a start, so why be afraid of cowards? They ain't gonna do shit. They're pussies. Well, yeah. So that's it, yeah. So yeah, basically he complains. Because, like, the bitch he is. And, um, my family phoned him up. Asking what was going on and shit. <laughs> and he said all kinds of bullshit, basically. A lot of the executives of Find out recently that the executives of the block of chat are with them. So he can send a complaint saying he's concerned about what they hate. And this was after that uh, video I did, you know, where I confronted and asked him why he does what he does. So basically, uh, they contact my family, just they've talked to my family now again. Uh, how he was arguing with my mom and my dad. She basically was believing this mom took over me. She's like, why have you done this? So I'm like, well, you know, you've been doing this stuff and targeting me. And they always, they always get the yeah. family to turn against you, you know, because most people are gullible twats. No offence to my family, but they've been gullible twats at times. They get your family so that they believe them and not you. So I had a huge row with my dad as well. Okay. Basically, <laughs> been targeting me. But that's how it gets. You get your family so that they believe them and not you. Yeah. So I had a huge row with my dad as well. Basically, <laughs> saying that it's not going on and it's just me. And I've just been sensitised to it. But that's the whole point. I've been sensitised to certain things. You've got to ask them, why have I been sensitised? What's happened to make me sensitise? You know? So yeah, basically, you know, doing that shit. But, you know, talking, they talking me the police on the way back. Should have filmed it really, but what we did, they had a police car. No, they had two. Op yeah, and this is how they sent the subliminal threat. So, on my bus journey home on Monday. They had two police officers stood by a motorbike with an L sticker on. And if you look at my videos on the moped per, his moped has an L sticker on. I wish I had filmed this. But they were just stood there next to it. And then just beyond that, there was a police car with the lights on. You know, so visual threat, you know. That's a threat saying if I expose what they're doing, especially about that moped guy. Or same for what I've done, they're gonna lock me up. This is stuck in front of a motorbike with an L sticker on that looks similar to the moped Herb's motorbike. So, subliminal message, you know, basically telling me that I'm gonna get arrested. Exposing this guy on the moped, you know, and then after that, there's another police vehicle. Yeah, can criminals arrest me, you know what I mean? That's ridiculous. But you'll see another example of the police being used as a threat in another video. Uh, people, you know, to me they're criminals, so... I don't care if you're a police officer, if you're participating in this, you're a criminal. So, no. you're gonna, wow. a criminal is going to threaten me with arrest. So, that's what we do. You know, they, so. they send us subliminal threats. Yeah. They send, when you're exposing them, they, they send a little threat using the police, using whatever they can, send these threats to physical violence or. And if that doesn't work, arrested, they try to silence you, which. which is what, what they did. They no. destroyed my internet router. And I know they did, because as soon as that happened, 
Those ambulance sirens. So we were saying pass and I put it all together and as soon as I got the bus, the CPD van that I just built, they were camped. And I thought, I bet they'll park in the other back. It's got some package on. I just didn't want to pull the building out, didn't you? And then as I'm coming down, it's going to, there's probably no liberal five year why I'm going. Because I've gone a different place today. Yeah, they did, and let's see why. What we do next. And this is something they do yeah, all course. the time. Pop. Pop must be scared, must have coughed about 30 times. Yeah, there was a guy on the bus who coughed about 30 times, and I targeted the shit out of him, like sticking, blatantly sticking two fingers up at him. Finally. Yeah. All the guys sat from me, looking at me out of the corner of his eye, you know, filming their time, you know, giving me this little. Yeah, basically they had another guy in front of me. This gay looking guy with uh Timberlands and uh some kind of flat cap. Um he was oh, I'm just eating my lunch as I do this. But basically he was giving me the if you watch Nigel Nicholson's videos you'd know what I mean. But he was doing the uh pursed lip, like with the they puff the lips up, it's like a subliminal message of be quiet, you know what I mean? Tight lips kind of thing. So he was doing that, you know, basically. And if I see him, I'll try and film him next time. They don't want you talking about what they're doing. So they threaten you with the police, and you'll see this in many other TI's videos. Most notably, Nappy Head Roots and Nigel Nicholson. And Target and Aberdeen as well. And it's, it's been like that since I was a kid, she always believes them, not me. So the day of being an adult, I'm still like that. And I was saying, I reckon, you know, I've been in this program longer than I thought. Because picking back on my life and stuff I've been through, too much bizarre shit. Yeah, too it's much just too much. Bad things are happening now. It's a bit more extreme than what we've done. Picking back, I will not be surprised if I've put into this philosophy closing program. Yeah. Uh, the subject, the experimentation. Uh, and the banging doors now, I just heard as well. No, I'll tell you, I don't know if I told you maybe the years ago. Because I've got perks, now this is something we do all the time, right? Use the dogs to target, or harass, or even intimidate. Now, this happens all the time. They, they constantly let their dogs free reign, and come up to me now this dog appears out of nowhere and you know you'll see this in my other video where they just left a dog you know on the street when I was cycling you know 
constant, and Nigel Nicholson talks about this as well, constantly using the theme of dogs as part of the uh, targeting to kind of say that you're their dog and they've got you under their control, you're on their leash kind of thing. So, And they also do it because they can use their dog as like uh, intimidation without them plausible deniability. If they train their dog to be aggressive around you, which is what they did, which is why I threatened them back because they were threatening me with their dogs. So I said, if that dog bites me, I will kick the shit out and stamp on its head. You know, so not a surprise it hasn't happened since not the aggressive side anyway because it was getting more frequent they were getting more aggressive in using their dogs to try and intimidate me with so I mean, this fucking dog so came from nowhere. The owner was back there. I don't know if you can see it. I was just saying that I was diagnosed with Asperger's when I was four. I've not said that. I've never done this before. I've never seen it. I think it's a lot more. I'm going to tell you first. No, I don't believe there's anything wrong with me. Sure what? See, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get. This is the shit it is. The fucking hell coming here, so. Fuck up the little bit there. Yeah, they, they, see, there it is. The woman there. And then she's just full of shit, you know, letting a dog, because she, she could have called that dog back a long time ago, but she's let the dog come all the way out to me, to, it's just a target. Then that's what happened. You know, she's there's blue there, and she's got something blue there, you know, colour sensitisation, another guy walking a dog there. Then that's Yeah, no, I want to talk about this. They've been sending, you know, how I filmed that, uh, that over, I can't remember the name of it, but I filmed it every time I went to my, uh, work, ex you know, you know, voluntary workplace, they sent, uh, you know, the dog walking van. Well, I've been getting another one. I went for a walk in a completely different place. And, uh, they sent this dog that dog. They sent this dog walking van that said "time for walkie." So this is how they try and mock you. I was going for a walk, and uh, you know they sent the dog walking van, like to compare me to a dog because I'm going for a walk. You know what I mean? But as I said in a video I made ages ago, the only bitches are you. So we'll see who's the dog. And who's taking who for a walk, you know what I mean? Because the way I look at it, and the way you motherfuckers constantly follow me, I'm leaving you motherfuckers on a walk. But why am I leaving you? You know, I'm leading you to your oblivion. So keep walking, keep following me. So I will lead you into a pit. I don't know if you can hear that noise. See, they're making noise now. Like a high pitched whining noise. This is the perps above me. Hear it? They're making noise now because I'm making these videos. So, 
they're trying to disrupt that. So I'll continue. If they don't stop, I'll, I'll blaze my music after this. So here we go. Time for walking. Now, in front of me. So, if you've got some time, I'm going to. In two completely different areas, miles and miles apart, I saw this van. Now, I've a good example so, of a subliminal message. Basically, I accidentally captured it. walking down this big bag. But they are full of sound, man. And I'll get that. Right, it's the next video. Oh, I just thought I'd mash it out, so I'll continue. But, um, yeah, I think I was putting this program because I thought, because I was diagnosed with Asperger's. Yeah, I was diagnosed with Asperger's when I was four, so, you know. Do you know what we're doing? That's why I think we're confident with it. Because it's, it's hard, because they can just say, oh, it's his Asperger's. You know what I mean? But that's how they do it. If, 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 they, already, if they haven't already been diagnosed uh, with a uh, learning disability or mental illness, then they'll diagnose you if they can. So, that's ready. But it's perfect for them if you've already that. been diagnosed. You have seen uh, that's why I believe uh, that Harvey and me and Phoenix can get away with it easier because of my Asperger's. I don't believe I've Asperger's. I know I'm different to some people, but yeah, I don't see anyone. Trust me, I can talk, I can read. I think I've been. I guess having guy. independent thoughts makes you uh, have a learning disability these days. Some of the reasons I've acted out in the past because of the stuff we've done. Yeah. I've always been bullied. So, you know, yeah, as you saw, I was always fine in the school, college and shit. But in the uh, MK Ultra experiments in the United States, they specifically chose people they thought wouldn't be able to defend themselves, yeah, or would be wouldn't be believed. Did. So, you can see why they chose me. Uh, why is it because if you if you've been diagnosed with uh, and more and more people are being diagnosed with these disorders. It was ADHD. Like, uh, yeah, hyperactive, yeah. hyperactive kids are being diagnosed with uh, ADHD. What's it called? I think of it at that time. Um, ADHD. I forget what it's called. But uh, a lot of hard practice kids are diagnosed with it. Um, I can't think of the word, but uh, basically, you know, if they're diagnosing more and more people, so it's a way that they can, so way they can do this spread it, yeah. and get away with it. Because they can say, oh, it's his disorder. It's her disorder, you know what I mean? So. I believe the reason why they are so blatant. Before I forget, I want to uh, say they. You'll see on my uh, YouTube. Uh, I recently got a comment. Some guy. I'll show the email maybe in another video. This guy sends me an email. I'm sure he's a perp, saying that I sound like this guy who talks about transsexuals or uh, is a transsexual or some shit like that. I don't know. I'll look in, more into the message board. I got a comment saying I should look at tranny shit, you know, and, and this is the perps because they've been targeting me with this homosexual shit and they do target, if you're a heterosexual male or heterosexual female, they will target you with homosexual things. So if they, and the, the CIA did mind control in how to turn people gay. So it's been done before, but I'm not gay. And this motherfucker says I sound like this mother other motherfucker. It's like I think you're this. Like I can tell you now, man, I'm not this motherfucker. So, you know, I think you're a perp, and whatever. And also, I get a comment from some guy with a marijuana leaf. Now I've been smoking weed a little bit recently. Now, and I want to show you. I've been getting people with shirts saying "addicted" with the cannabis leaf on. And this is how they send a subliminal message to let me know. That they know I'm smoking weed, 
you know there's a guy post a comment with a cannabis leaf on it so you know that's the kind of shit they do sometimes it's due to the fact that i was diagnosed with asperger's syndrome you know, at four years old i was diagnosed with that and it's made my life hell because people i want that you know it's real, it's have treated me differently uh, because of being labeled with this disorder they shun you they don't want to speak to you anymore Girls don't want to go out of view once they know. Stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, automatically when you're labelled with this before it, it automatically it's easy for them to smear you. Because they can say, oh, he's an Asperger's, he's an autistic, he's an nutter. You know what I mean? So, you can see how these people can smear you and how they can say you need to be watched. Because we see in the news a lot of people that uh, supposedly been diagnosed with Asperger's have committed crimes or raped people or murdered people. You know what I mean? So, that's how they do it. So basically, you know, that's that's how I believe I'm just gonna have a wee. <laughs> I'm bursting man. Yeah, I ain't gonna I have to, there's not a toilet anywhere near here, so I'm gonna have to go. Said, I, was him that I really did need to go because I was on the bus for about an hour and there was no toilet, so anyway, continuing. Okay, continuing my video. Uh, sorry about that. Um yeah, I, I believe you know, I, I believe um, the reason why they put me in this program is just they can't, they can't not just away, because right? I know a lot of stuff that, that they would prefer me not to know. So they can say all these about all secret societies, about the government. But I believe it is because they can use these technologies and then blame me on my Asperger's if I act out. You know what I mean? So. That's personally what I'm going to start walking for. That's personally what I believe. And why... Why they basically are uh, doing what they're doing. And think that they can get away with it. So, red. So, yeah. Carry a bag of fat apart at this point. So it's it can make your life a living hell, basically. Because they... When you're diagnosed with these conditions, you get sent to specialist school often. Yeah, I went to specialist school. And I actually had tons of fights there. A person there, a member of staff, who tried to basically get. Yeah, when I was about 11 or 12, I had a member of staff, and she, she was a support worker there, and she said, James, I could be your girlfriend, or something like that. I was like, nah. <laughs> I just straight up said, nah, nah. Me. When I was about 5 or 13, she, she was like, uh, I could be your girlfriend, Jay. You know what I mean? She yeah. was like 13, and I was like, nah, nah. Yeah, she was about 13. I was like, yeah, yeah, man. Like, you know what I mean? So it's too late for us. So, these people, when you're diagnosed with something like this, they see you as a sitting duck. So they can experiment on you, sexually abuse you. Um, matter of fact, I just want to talk about something that happened to me. I've never I told been uh, abused, another PR that I've told to about this. I've not told anyone about it before, but when I was about 11, yeah. I, and this is the same kind of age. This is just my experience. I don't know if this happened or not. I think I was actually 14. So, mine not have happened, but my mistake. When I was 11, I think I was 14. And I'm going to be brutally open about it. Like, say what happened. When I was 11, I was camping with my family. And I remember this lass wanted to go out. Yeah, this girl. Like, I didn't fancy her, girl, so I age. said yeah. no. About 12. But then I remember yeah. I had a dream. But I didn't want to go out. The night after, where basically I went out to the caravan, I think where this lap was, and uh, yeah, I had a dream. Just, but it had seemed sex with, the difference uh, with this dream blonde. was it, it seemed real and it felt real, and I had sex with this blonde woman. Blonde, okay. uh, brown eyed woman. My dream. I snuck out the window because we don't have any motorhome, like a little top cabin. I out the window and I went to go to that 
Now, don't yeah. get me wrong, this may have not happened. It may have been them um, implanting a dream, but it felt real, so it could have happened, is what I'm saying. Nah. Basically, uh, had sex with this one bad woman. Now, it was kind of strange, you know, this is the a young kid's fantasy fantasy. But, seen the same like, or someone that looked just like her. A year or two later, I went to college with that. Now, yeah, more like four or five years later. So, the blonde hair that I went to college, and she looked just like the woman I sexed with in the dream. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm thinking now, with this technology, did they put me into some kind of fans? And they can do that. Mind control me to... Especially if you don't know, know about this technology. Maybe have sex. That was a bit of a big mess. Sound, sound, and spread effect. spectrum and, and, and the uh, microwave auditory so effect weapons. They might control me to do that. But with the science, sound, spread spectrum, they can basically implant subliminal commands. So, and stuff and hypnotize you without any so I was listening to one of Nigel Nixon's calls from a few years ago and he was saying you know, what I was saying in a record in a video we were playing through the call there's no con conscious defense against this technology that means what that means is you don't know it's being used on you so if you're suddenly thinking I want to rape this woman or I want to blow this guy's head off I don't know if you can hear about but the banging above so I'm gonna bang as well. You know, that's what I do. When they do that shit, I do the same shit. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, basically, as I was saying, um, you know, if you're suddenly getting forced to do some crazy shit and you don't know where they're coming from, it could be these weapons. Well, that to me, you know, so it's all about you know, uh, self-control. Listen, I've had urges to rape women before. I've had, I'll be honest, I've had urges to rape, rape women, kill people, do all kinds of crazy shit. And I've been like, where the fuck has this come from? And even as a kid, I was getting like these killer urges. Now, I'll tell you this straight, man, because I'll be honest with you. Now, I used to think maybe there's something wrong with me, but no, knowing what I know about this technology, they could have been fucking beaming that shit into my head. You know what I mean? And if you think, oh, he's crazy, he's mad, research... Uh, no, oh, what's it called? Research Al Rad, the long range acoustic weapon. Research uh, the microwave auditory effect. Research synthetic telepathy. Research remote neural monitoring. Research the silent sound spread spectrum. Research uh, through wall radar, millimeter wave radar. They use all this technology in tandem to do this stuff. So they can basically read your mind and spot wherever you go inside your house 24-7. I've never okay. had a dream since so before. Man. Now I've experienced all this kind of technology. Well, I know if the mind control me to go out and I'll sleep in like a, in like a sleep walk trance so now listen, this is probably the remote no monitor. As soon as I start talking about this, listen. Because I could hear the ambulance sign spot star. I've never had a dream since before. So, for all I know, the mind control me to go out and I'll sleep in another, in like a sleep walk trance. There you go. You, you hear it. You hear the siren star now. That's pretty much it. I'll just play the ambulance case. I think that's it. Right, so I'm going to do this in two videos. Uh, I think that was movie eight. I think. Okay, continue my video. Uh, side up. Yeah, it was movie eight. Let me just see movie nine. It's doing that shit again. Sometimes it freezes. But I will probably end this uh, in a minute once this video is loaded, just to check that that's the last of the videos. But yeah, basically, that's what I experienced, you know, as, as a kid, you know. But I've experienced many more strain yeah, again now. Whoa. Yeah, 
There was a lot. Just me. You can hear the dogs. You know, they constantly use the dogs for the dogs. I think that's it. Yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let me just check this. That's some video I need to look through. And then this is an update oh, video. Okay, I'll play this update video in the next uh, upload. But uh, I hope that. Uh, I mean, there'll be two parts to this, but I hope that it explains a lot of the things. Because I know it's hard to explain this kind of stuff, especially to people that have no clue about this. But you have to realize that the UK government, the US government, and many more are running covert mind control psychological operations psychological warfare programs using their own citizens and using these you know, putting as targets their own citizens so i'm not going to get into the reasoning i only have speculation i have no proof but personally i'll go into what i think i think this is a preparation for global mind control and using these bringing these programs out into the daylight you know what i mean so that these programs become a commonplace everyday thing you know just like in East Germany so it's very important to expose these programs and to try and destroy these programs in every way we can and spread the word so that these programs will not be effective okay that's all I have to say